Later. Oh, this is hard to watch. Today, we're gonna find out if we could game on the brand new 2021 M1 Pro MacBook 14 inch. Let's get it. So look, I already see the comments coming. Siobhan, why are you buying a MacBook to play games, blah, blah, I didn't buy this MacBook to play games, but a lot of people wanted to see me play some games on this MacBook. So the good thing about this year's M1 Pro MacBook is that it has 120 hertz refresh rate pro motion display, 120 hertz, silky smooth. It's crazy. So I asked you guys a couple, you know, what game should I play? Everyone was saying like Fortnite, Valorant, uh, Minecraft, CSGO. One thing is that you can't play Valorant on this MacBook. So unfortunately, I couldn't install that, but I'll be testing out Fortnite, CSGO, Minecraft, League of Legends, and the results may surprise you. So the spec version MacBook that I have right here is 32 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of GPU, and also 10 core CPU, all right? And that's on the M1 chip itself, which is crazy. That's baked into the M1 chip, a small chip. Like if you look at my PC around here, that big graphics card, <laughs> But yeah, it's all in this laptop. It's super powerful. And yeah, Apple just came a long way, but I'm talking too much without any further ado. Let's show you the games on this bad boy. First game we're gonna load up is CSGO. And it's kind of a trick to get CSGO running. You have to do a couple things in the launcher, but it should be fun. So there you go. By the way, the MacBook speakers sound amazing. So for CSGO guys, the resolution that I'm rocking is 1080p, but I kind of keep everything on low settings. So let's change the resolution down to 1920 by 1200. Um, for the settings, I have everything on low because let's be honest, like if we're playing CSGO, we want to get the maximum frame rates. You could, of course, up the specs if you care about quality, but I'm trying to game at 120 FPS and now you can see how smooth this is. So let's play, um, not official, let's just play with some bots. All right guys, so here we are. I'm not sure if you could see it up here, but we're currently rocking around 120 FPS, between 115 to 120 FPS in CSGO. This is also on low settings, all right? Uh, you could play on high settings, but the point of the video is to see if we could run at 120 FPS. And of course, sorry, but you guys can see how smooth this is, right? Like. This is crazy, like Apple is just really doing bits. I'm not sure what other laptop of this high quality screen, Pro XDR display, 120 FPS, and it's playing smoothly. I don't hear the fans. It's not hot, the temperature is good, and I'm playing CSGO. I mean, CSGO is a pretty old game, but still, you know what I mean? It's impressive. Hello? All right. God damn. Yep. All right, so the next game we're gonna try is League of Legends. And this one, I said before, I have no idea how to play League of Legends, but you guys wanted to see it, so I got you. It also doesn't take so long to start up League. Everything is just super quick with the M1. So, if you guys wanna add me, and teach me how to play this game. My name is, I think, Chevy Wevy. Don't, don't ask me, all right? Just, 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 just add me. Let's go team. Are they fighting? But as you can see, we're running up here. We have like 140 FPS, 160 FPS. Just in like, this is the air right here. You know what I'm saying? That's not bad. That is not bad. Who said you can't game on a MacBook? Like if you play League of Legends, you'll be perfectly fine with these high FPS. And it's 120 Hertz screen. Right, and you're getting over 120 FPS. You can't see above 120 FPS, but that's all you should know. Um, let's go into the video. I'm rocking a resolution of 1920 by 1200, widescreen, quality, everything is basically on medium. Frame rate cap, 240 FPS. And I could, of course, increase the quality. Let's put that to very high, because I, I believe in this MacBook. All right, so at very high, I could definitely see that drastic change. At very high, we're rocking around 117 FPS. So if you really want to kill people or these runes or whatever you call them in 
high quality. No, that's that's disrespectful. Plus, you're still getting your, you know, 117 to 120 FPS. Let's change this back to, to low settings. Very low. Okay, so on very low settings, steady. Oh, I'm dying. Health. Oh, I just died. I just died. I suck at League of Legends. But there you go, guys. Like around 120 FPS, it doesn't really change either medium settings, low settings, or high. At high settings, it was like 90 FPS or so. But you'll be perfectly fine playing games like League of Legends on the brand new M1 Pro MacBook. Alright, next up, the most hated game of all time, Fortnite. I'm gonna play some Fortnite. And you guys might be asking, yo, how do you have like the old Fortnite season, blah, blah. Because Fortnite on a MacBook... It's different from Fortnite on Windows for some strange reason or Fortnite on consoles. So I think we're like on an older generation. Let me know down below in the comments if I'm wrong or right. But yeah, I'm loading up Fortnite right now. Alright, I think we should I think we should cap the FPS guys. I'm gonna cap the FPS. It makes sense, right? So it doesn't like tweak out. So let's cap it to 120 FPS. Here we are. I did connect my PS5 controller because I just suck. On high settings in the air, we have roughly 120 FPS. Guys, listen, I used to play pro Fortnite, all right? I know when FPSs are smooth, and this is a smooth FPS. You can see the shadows, all of that. I don't have a gun right now. Where is this gun? So it's all bots, yeah, I know. You'd have to tell me. But yeah, this is like 90 FPS or so. It's not bad. What do you guys think? I could feel it. It's very smooth. Like, this is crazy. You can actually game on a freaking MacBook, bro. That's insane. Okay, now I'm going to quickly change the settings to low. So I'm going to put everything on low because like this is like what you call the pro settings, right? 3D resolution. Let's keep that to 100. Fly. All right, let's go. Play a solo again. So low settings in the lobby. We're rocking. We're maxed out at 120 FPS. Low settings, this is, you could actually play competitive Fortnite. Gliding around in the air, it feels smooth. Almost like any PC game would feel. Currently rocking 80 FPS right now. We could land right here. A couple people landed here. Oh, you. Oh, I always see this artifact. I'm not sure what causes it, but it's always when I'm playing on Mac. All right, there's a guy right here. Let's see if we could kill him. This is, ooh, what you doing, my boy? What you doing, my boy? Later. Oh, look at that. I know you guys are mad in the comments that I have the, the pink gold trooper, but I'm just an OG. Later. This is hard to watch. Oh, you hate to see it. Guys, this is not my settings. Promise. These are not my settings. If you don't believe me, I have a gaming channel. I'm better. <laughs> All right, but yeah, Fortnite. 120 FPS. Works perfectly fine. Last but not least, let's test out Minecraft. Here we are, Minecraft season play demo of course it's gonna work my i don't even think minecraft really matters if it's 120 fps or not it's like high settings right here and it's rocking like 67 to 80 fps as you guys can see up there but yeah minecraft shouldn't be an issue it looks good so far let's go back into this options um video settings let's put this down to like say three chunks you know the graphics is on fancy right now it's fine done done Back to game. All right, now we're rocking like 130 FPS. The FPS is on unlimited, so 130 FPS, not bad. What do you guys think? For Minecraft, this is really good. 160 FPS, this is really good. It's not lagging, it feels smooth. Um, I just I just need more games to be supported on the, the Mac OS. That's all we need because it could play, it could run these games, I'm telling you. Putting up big numbers, it's really impressive. And I think Apple is really changing the game where the whole stigma of you can't game on Mac, blah, blah, that's, it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. Now we're going to max out the chunks, <laughs> 32 chunks for the render distance, smooth lighting, all of that. It done, done. Back to game. All right, 60 FPS. That's even good as well. A lot of gamers try to aim for 60 FPS. It's on max chunks, around 30 to 60 FPS, depending on what you're doing. It definitely feels more laggy. It doesn't feel as smooth because... Obviously, it's like 27 to 30 FPS. All right, guys, so that wraps up today's video. Can you game on the brand new M1 Pro MacBook? The answer is yes, and actually very easily as well. 120 hertz, it's amazing. Everything I threaded, it handled it well. Um, let me know what you think about the MacBook Pro. Is it something that we could game on now, or it's still like 
funny to see someone saying, yo, they're gaming on a MacBook. As always, guys, love, peace, and peace. Signing out.